Thank you for staying with us on Y254 News Updates. And if you're joining us tonight, we're talking about teenage pregnancy awareness. And with me in studio is Carissa Fagio, who is the founder of Niache Nikomai Initiative. And we also have Anastasia Kibio, who is the founder of the Teen Pregnancy Awareness KE. Tonight, we talk about what are the causes of teenage pregnancies uh, in the country? Uh, what are strategies or what ways can we put up to make sure that we curb teenage pregnancies, if at least we cannot probably make sure that every girl uh, gets to go through education without dropping out of school. We try to see probably what is the government helping to make sure that this um, does not become a problem in the country no more. And we'll, so I'm going to bring you guys in on this now. And the first thing that I'm going to ask is why Starting with you, Carissa, why did you start up the Niache Nikomai initiative? Most initiatives on uh, about teenage pregnancies and stuff, we see them. We see female. Uh, we see female people behind such initiatives. What motivated you to start the Niache Nikomai initiative? Thank you, uh, Patricia, for that question. Uh, Niache Nikomai is uh, an initiative that was mainly driven by. Uh, kind of for uh, making some observation that uh, was pointing towards uh, 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 community degradation. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at the structure of our, our community or our societies, you find that uh, the continuity of any society depends on the ability of this society to have a steady future. Okay. And uh, talking of any future, if it must have a meaning, then the society must be having some features of growth. Uh, as in, if you're coming from uh, probably a community that didn't have much education, you want to get a number of uh, kids uh, coming up with some good level of education. If you had a, a society that didn't have probably some infrastructure like, like roads or shopping centers or schools, uh, you, hospitals, you come to a point of having that kind of infrastructure. Now, that is what signifies growth. Mm -hmm. Now, any growth for it to have some meaning, it must be accompanied by an, a, 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 a vibrant, a vibrant uh, society that has the, 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 the human aspect attached to it. We must be having uh, a young generation which is having a brilliant or a bright future. This is what can assure us that 20, 30 years, we are going to have this kind of leaders. Now, when you look at the numbers that were being posted as far as teenage pregnancy is concerned, it was very clear mm -hmm. that we are not having any future here because the kind of people we are looking forward to to become the, the leaders in the future are having their dreams being shattered at a very tender age. So, uh, for a parent, you find that uh, when you get a child, uh, it is actually a very big investment. You collect all your resources to make sure that you are giving the best shot to your kid so that in the future, in the event that you start growing old, you will have somebody who can take over the mantle. Okay. Now, if the kids are shattered or the dreams of the kids are shattered at 13 years, 14 years, you find that there is nowhere they can go. And it means a child who is supposed to take over the responsibility of the family at an age of 2025 20, is becoming a burden again to the parent who is already worn out, tired, and he has spent all his resources. So out of this observation, we said we have to change this because we cannot continue with a society that will not have a future in terms of having a growing generation taking over from the old ones. Okay. Yeah. So with you, Anastasia, what can you say are some of the achievements that you've made uh, from the... Um, when you started uh, talking to young girls and talking to young, to young boys about teen pregnancy. Um, thank you, Patricia, for this opportunity once again. You're welcome. Uh, we started teen pregnancy awareness in 2016. And so far, because after every visit we do in a school, we do a follow-up. Out of the six counties we visited so far, every follow-up we do, it is positive. Mm -hmm. There has never been a drop out again mm -hmm. out of pregnancy. Yeah. Okay. So that's a big achievement for us. So what you're basically trying to say is that the talking, the conversations, and that is a direct conversations between the, the, the girls and the boys yes. is working. Yes. Okay, so what is the cause? For the years that you've operated, what has been your high, what has been the things that you've highlighted and like, these are the main causes that, I'm, that are 
paving way for teenage pregnancies? Again, it depends with the county, mm -hmm. but number one is poverty. Because you go to a school, check the attendance list, and you find girls can't afford sanitary towels because their parents are not able to. Mm -hmm. So they either use rugs, some even use soil, mm -hmm. you can imagine. So the, the best the best way we are trying to come up with sanitary pad distribution for every school we do a visit, we provide for them just for a few months so that they can, like a whole time they are sorted. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we need actually to come up with a strategy on how to handle the cases of where kids. Mm -hmm. Broken families is also an issue mm -hmm. on these teenage pregnancies. Uh, there's also lack of parental guide, mm -hmm. peer pressure. Mm -hmm. Actually, peer pressure is the leading because I am pregnant. My friend got pregnant, so why not get pregnant and feel? And then there is this, people want to try and fit in a circle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So most of the times when people, when we're having conversations about teenage pregnancies, uh, last year during the release of the KCP results, the, uh, Mago, the Professor Magoa said that don't expect that if you don't sit for the exam that we're going to give you another exam. So parents, make sure that your girls are not getting pregnant. Most of the times we, lo we look at addressing parents, caregivers and the girls. When you're talking about, when you're going your visit and doing your visit on the Niache Nikoma initiatives, do you address the boys? Um, my, our, our approach is a bit different. Mm -hmm. we, we, as long as we have uh, a lot of interest in the boy, because we know that uh, at the end of the day, he is the one who is going to, to, to be responsible for mm -hmm. the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. um, we decided that we are going to kind of jump the gun. Because uh, before the boy child succeeds to make the girl pregnant, the girl must say yes mm -hmm. to this demand. Okay. And uh, as she is pointing, as Anastasia is pointing here, that there are a number of causes that are, 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 are affecting these uh, issues of pre teen pregnancy, we, we decided that we don't want to be scientific about this issue. Mm -hmm. Because uh, at the end of the day, uh, the girl knows very well, there are so many examples, more than enough, which can teach this girl that getting pregnant is not something that is worth a reward. Mm -hmm. It is simply going to shut down your life. Mm -hmm. It is going to make you rejected by the community. It's going to make you lose a lot of dignity that you had at mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. So we said, why can't we target the girl and empower the girl to be able to understand the meaning of her life, her mm -hmm. own life? Mm -hmm. And then she stands strong to say no. Because any other person who comes to the, to the life of the girl, she's, he is not there to, to do anything magical about the life of this girl, mm -hmm. but mess it up. Mm -hmm. So telling the girl that, look here, whoever comes to you and tries to seduce you or probably uh, gives you some, some inducements for you to be able to give in to sex, is simply giving this person a chance to ruin your life. Okay. So we are investing a lot of power to make the girl understand and appreciate the fact that as far as her life is concerned, if she gives in to any demand from a boy, it is like signing a death certificate for her future. Okay. So we insist on that and to the side, we, 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 we teach the boys that uh, look here, it is not just about being able to make a girl pregnant. It is about becoming a responsible parent. Mm -hmm. So if you cannot be a responsible parent, you are still a student, you have no business mm -hmm. trying to pursue a girl and making this girl pregnant. Pre pregnant. So we, we kind of we kind of silence their ego because uh, they, 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 there is some misunderstanding here. When a boy starts getting some breaking voice, he feels that I'm a man enough. Being mm -hmm. a man is not breaking the voice. Mm -hmm. It is being able to stand and say, this is my child, the child is sick, can I take the child to the hospital? Okay. This is my wife, is, she's hungry, can I get food for her? Mm -hmm. So these are things which they must understand very clearly that we are not going to stand to tolerate some misleading uh, uh, concepts here and there mm -hmm. when you are ruining people's lives here and there. Okay. Yeah. So now, understand how do we now bring uh, in the society in the fight against uh, making sure that our girls go to 
they are taken to nursery school and at least if after form four after the secondary education if someone cannot make it to go to the university or the colleges they can at least go through some type of training how do we bring in the society so that we don't have only three people fighting for teen pregnancy awareness and then everyone else feels like ah, it's okay i think it's not something that i that concerns me it's not my daughter it's not my son it's not my niece this person is not related to me Every time I get into that conversation, I get emotional because I feel so sad. Someone's daughter has to drop out of school because they're not in a position or they lacked a role model mm -hmm. because when they were growing up, they only saw this type of a role model. And when they followed, mm -hmm. they ended up being miserable in life. Mm -hmm. So how as a society we can come together, you know, I don't, I, I am not pro-choice because there are so many consequences. I can't come and tell your daughter, you know what, uh, just take these pills and avoid, do the contraceptives and avoid pregnancy. Mm -hmm. That's not how we should go about it mm -hmm. because it's like telling our teenagers we are sexu sexualizing them mm -hmm. and that's not the case. Mm -hmm. We need to go back to basics. Back then, how did things happen? Where a kid belonged to a society, not just your parent yeah. and wherever is there for you. So I think we need to go back to basics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So for you now, um, for uh, Carissa, what areas probably, what counties have you covered and what has been the success that you've seen so far? Uh, we've done uh, quite some extensive work in uh, Cliffy County, mm -hmm. Mombasa County. Mm -hmm. uh, we have done some work in uh, Vihiga County, done some work in Kisumu County. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've done some bit of work in Nairobi, not yet very pronounced. We are yet coming with some plans that we're having for <laughs> Nairobi. Mm -hmm. But uh, looking at uh, the success rate, we, we, we can say uh, our campaign started in January mm -hmm. this year. And uh, usually the outcome of reducing pregnancy must have a washout period of about nine months. Mm -hmm. Because assuming that by the time we were starting this campaign, Already we had some girls who were pregnant. Yeah. We need a washout period of nine months before we can start counting success rate. Uh, the only thing that we can have as a, as a way of saying that we are successful is the way girls are coming out very boldly and really appreciating this kind of campaign because mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, the other side of it would be probably finding some guys who are shying away from our message and they are finding us like enemies because mm -hmm. we are trying to, to, to squeeze them out of their, their comfort zones. Mm -hmm. But you find that when you go to these schools and you're talking to them, the girls are yelling, they are dancing, they're singing with you mm -hmm. and they're feeling very happy. Okay. In fact, um, one of the things that we succeeded, when you go to the schools, we tell them that anybody who greets you Hi, how are you? You tell her or him that Niachin Komai. Oh, wow. And they're picking it very fast. In fact, some people get embarrassed out of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you come, a very senior person, say, Hi, girls, is it Niachin Komai? You see, now that way we, we feel like they're internalizing the message. <laughs> yeah. They're identifying themselves with the message. And it's like they have gotten a friend mm -hmm. whom they, who can tell them clearly mm -hmm. what it means. To, to be able to be patient and to be to, to concentrate in schoolwork. Okay. So that way we can talk of some very good access, success. Okay. Now, um, as we're winding up, I understand I would like you to share your social media platforms and probably how people can reach you if someone wants to invite you to talk to young girls in the community and all that. And final comments or your final thoughts on now what you think really the government would chip in and make this uh, fight or make sure that these... Um, campaign against teenage pregnancy can be solved? Let me start on how the government can come in and help us curb the teenage pregnancy. Mm -hmm. uh, if the program which started back then, I think in 2016, which mm -hmm. was signed into bill mm -hmm. about the sanitary parts distributions, mm -hmm. the public to public schools. Personally, I've never, I have I am yet to meet somebody who has benefited from the program. Okay. There were, I think, 400 million, which was put aside for that, but I've not had anyone who has benefited from the program. Mm -hmm. So if they can implement that and it comes to reality, I think they'll have helped a lot. Okay. As a community, we can, as I've said, we go back to basics, what our parents and great-grandparents, because there were cases of teenage pregnancies then, but yeah. they were not as rampant as they are now. 
So we need to find out where we've gone wrong as a society and go back. Mm -hmm. Now we bring back the sanity we need in this country to curb the teenage pregnancies. On how to get us on social media, we are on Facebook, Teen Pregnancy Awareness. On Instagram and Twitter, it's TPA Awareness KE. If you need to get in touch with us, you can contact us on 0724 four three nine one one five mm -hmm. or zero seven two five seven zero one nine two seven. Okay. You can also write to us on teen pregnancy awareness ke at gmail dot com. Well thank you very much for that. Uh Carissa Fagi as you wind up, what do you think the government can do to make sure that the Niache Nikoma initiative is realized maybe let's say faster than it would be if you're just turned it by yourself? Uh thank you. Uh Right now, what we are trying to advocate is uh, we have a number of programs that we have put uh, in place to be able to manage this. But a very quick fix that the government can help us to do mm -hmm. is uh, we have uh, one of the concept we are using. We call it Adopt a Banner. Mm -hmm. Now, Adopt a Banner is making a, a, or availing a big banner. 10 meter banner with the with the words niache nikomae mm -hmm. and give it to a particular school okay this banner is put in a place where the girls will be seeing it on daily basis mm -hmm. so after they're given the message when they wake up in the morning they see niache nikomae mm -hmm. when they come in the evening they see niache nikomae throughout the year mm -hmm. so this one it will be keeping on shouting and rolling and rolling in the lives of these girls mm -hmm. So if you can be able to have the government or even anybody, any organization, we are going to recognize your efforts. You just write there, Niachen Komai, and we say uh, probably uh, why 254 uh, supports Niachen Komai. So mm -hmm. we put it clearly, we know that if it is Alliance Girls, mm -hmm. it's, it's why 254 who have supported this school. Mm -hmm. So you adopt a banner, we put it there, mm -hmm. and let the girls keep rolling, seeing that message on daily basis. Wow. As we have friends visiting the school, the message there is Niachen Komai. It mm -hmm. will become a kind of uh, a slogan, mm -hmm. and uh, it will be fashionable to avoid mm -hmm. uh, any friendship, okay. with, with unnecessary friendship with boys. Okay. And by doing this, we will kind of be turning the girls into 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 what uh, Anastasia is saying here, that uh, they, they, they will not just be looking for ways of avoiding pregnancy mm -hmm. after engaging in sexual activities, mm -hmm. but they will be shunning away from unnecessary relationships to keep themselves pure, because what we are talking about here is a total growth of the girl. Mm -hmm. If you come to become a parent, you should be able to manage your family well. You should be able to reason well. You should be able to even advise your child well. Mm -hmm. So we are, we are targeting total growth of the kid okay. so uh, on Facebook page possibly um, somebody can get into Facebook and search for Niache Nikomai mm -hmm. and like the page okay the rest of the, of the interaction can come through that. We have our phone numbers there. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, you can always send us a message. We have a very active uh, social media team, mm -hmm. which will always respond to any request. Mm -hmm. But at least I would really urge, let us put banners to all girls' schools. Mm -hmm. Niache Nikomai. Okay. That will be a good message. Enough. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, and I hope you continue the same work. And it's my hope that the work that you guys are doing and people out there who have probably not gotten a platform like this to come and talk about the initiatives, is we're going to see the fruits of that probably during the 2019 KCP and KCSE, whereby probably we'll have a less number or in some schools who have no um, cases of girls getting pregnant uh, during the examination period. And what I can say is that every person, just as understand as said has a role to play just as uh, Carissa Fagio has said let us be on the forefront also to push for these messages and yet sometimes just when you get a uh, platform to share with young people just to engage in the conversations with them and I'm sure that we can achieve this in making sure that there are no uh, dropouts uh, from girls in our country thank you very much for joining us tonight my name is Patricia Morioki do have yourselves a very good night